Sometimes the scene can just look so boring or lack any feeling. Lighting just looks lifeless. It may look like some successful lighting artists just intuitively know what to do and naturally have the eye, whether it's conscious or not. They will be using a kind of to-do list for where to place the lights, how to set up the right levels, and so on. If you simply tick most or even some of those boxes from the list, it will instantly improve the result. The good news is, it's not rocket science. Lighting in Blender can be learned fairly easy, if you know where to start. And here comes the role of cinematic lighting in Blender, which is a premium course that offers a step-by-step -step guide for setting up dramatic lighting in Blender for character shots, still life, or any object shot and also for 3D environments as well. And that's using Cycles and EV Render Engines. Now let me walk you through the content of this course. In the first chapter, you will have a look at the still life lighting formula with Cycles. You will learn how to build your lighting setup step by step and throughout the section, you will learn the most important light characteristics. After you finish this section, you will be ready to light a typical 3D object to make it look cinematic in Blender. In the next section, you will learn how to post-process your render with Blender Compositor. The second chapter is where you learn how to light a character in cycles, starting with an HDRI setup, then with the popular 3-point lighting setup, and lastly, you will make your character pop with practical lights and special effects. Also, this chapter includes light groups to learn how to try different styles and looks to your character. The third chapter is all about interior lighting for Eevee. After you learn all the tips and tricks from the chapter, it will be easier to create a realistic and moody environment with Blender real-time rendering engine Eevee. The fourth chapter is about rendering interiors in cycles, where you will create a complete lighting setup for this sunlit warehouse location. You will use light layers and add 2D beams for more realism. And after that, you will post-process your render. And that's to have the final result that you can see right now. Now all the assets and Blender scenes are included with the course. The course also offers a dedicated support channel as well as student chat on Discord. So if you get stuck, the other students as well as the Creative Shrimp team will helpfully help you out. Now if you want to check out this course, link is in the description. Tell me in the comments below what do you think about this course. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.